Welcome to CHEM, the Chemical Hazards Emergency Medical Management web resource. Quick access to reliable information can save lives in chemical emergencies, such as the 1995 sarin gas attack on the Tokyo subway or the release of chlorine from a train accident in South Carolina in 2005. The purpose of CHEM is to enable first responders and first receivers, as well as other healthcare providers and planners, to plan for, respond to, and recover from the effects of mass casualty incidents involving chemicals. This tutorial will provide an orientation to the tools, guidelines, and other functions available through CHEM. CHEM can be accessed as a web-based resource or downloaded from the top right side box to your computer for use when the internet may not be available. Content on CHEM is organized in multiple ways. For example, you can select first responder, hospital provider, or incident preparedness to find information customized for your needs. You can also find information organized by role under chem for you The left side menu offers several types of information, and I will highlight some potential uses here. Select Quick Chemical Identification. Here you can use the Chem Intelligent Syndromes tool, or CHEMIST, to identify the category of chemical or chemical group by the signs or symptoms presented. Or you can use WISER, the Wireless Information System for Emergency Responders, to identify specific chemicals by their properties, transport identifiers, or signs and symptoms of toxicity. Select Acute Patient Care Guidelines to find information organized by pre-hospital and in-hospital management. The list of chemicals you see here is under development. In the pre-hospital management section, select an agent such as chlorine. On this page, you can find chemical agent properties, triage and decontamination procedures, as well as signs, symptoms, and treatments. In the top left menu, you can navigate to additional information that is specific to the hot zone, decontamination zone, or support zone. In the top right drop-down menu, you can switch your role between first responder and hospital provider to customize the information. Return to the home page by selecting Chem Home from the top left. Select Types of Emergencies for detailed preparation and response guidelines. The patient management section brings together tools and resources needed for patient care in a chemical emergency. Select types and categories of hazardous chemicals. Choose caustics or another chemical category to find patient management information from additional authoritative sources. Notice that in the navigation boxes on the right, you can link directly to common hazmat chemicals or other resources on the CHEM website. From the left side menu, you can select medical treatment modifiers for information on burns, mass casualty events, psychological issues, and specific populations, a unique feature of the CHEM resource. Select specific populations. Here you will find medical management considerations for seniors, persons with pre-existing disease or altered metabolism, children, pregnant women, and persons with disability. On the right side of the CHEM homepage, you will find quick links to some of the tools mentioned earlier, as well as critical phone numbers for emergencies. These are just some of the resources and tools found in CHEM. You can learn more about CHEM by clicking on the New Users link on the right. Chemical emergencies require complex decision-making and quick responses. Familiarity with CHEM can enable better planning and response to these events. CHEM was produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Office of the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response, 
in cooperation with the National Library of Medicine and many medical emergency response, toxicology, and other experts.